Okay, question number four. The variables x and y satisfy the equation y is to power n equals to ax cube, where n and a are constants. It is given that, and then we have values of x and y. So, yeah, so this is a linear law question. So, yeah, explain why the graph of ln y against ln x is a straight line. So, yeah, so the initial function is y is to power n equals to ax cube. So, yeah, so the graph is of ln y against ln x, right? So we apply ln to both sides so, and we get ln y is to power n ln a x cube. So yeah, the power law, this makes it n ln y equals to ln x cube plus ln a. When logs are added and um, logs are taken common, this is what happens, right? Let me just write this down in the corner. Okay, so when two logs are added, let's say I'll use a different color for this. Let's say ln a plus ln b are added. And if you take ln common, this is what happens, ln a b. So ln a x cube becomes ln x cube plus ln a. And then finally, the again, n ln y the power law will make this 3 ln x plus ln a now if you notice uh, if we take n on the other side so this becomes ln y equals to 3 upon n ln x plus ln a upon n. So this is equals to y equals to m x plus c which implies that it's a linear line. Basically uh, we use linear law to convert a non-linear function. This was non-linear to a linear function. Okay, then find the values of n and a giving your answers correct to two decimal places. Okay, so for this we will use what's given to us. We have y equals to 2.58 when x equals to 1.20. So this will be let's place n over here again so n ln y is 2.58 so ln 2.58 equals to 3 ln x x is 1.2 3 ln 1.2 plus ln a we get our first equation and the next equation will be when y is 9.49 so n ln 9.49 equals to 3 ln 2.51 plus ln a after solving for n and y using these two simultaneous equations your answer should be n equals to 1.70 correct to two decimal places and a equals to 2.90